I'm going to give you a sports talk radio setup here, and you tell me if I'm right uh, or you would believe this. Let's take everybody from the draft class of 2018 that we just mentioned, and then Kyler Murray and his draft class, right? And then uh, 2020 and 2021, and let's even throw in what we're going to see this year, whoever that might be. The best quarterback to be coming out of all that winds up five years from now as Joe Burrow. Would you believe that, Kurt Warner? 100%. 100%. And, you know, I think the other there's going to be other guys, you know, Lamar and Kyler. We, we talked about that. Josh Allen, we'll, too. Yeah, I mean. Josh Allen, which do some, some really flashy things because athletically, you know, they're at another level than, than a Joe Burrow. But – I've said this for years, and I'm sure I'm a little bit biased because I played the game this way, but I just believe if you can play the game mentally inside the pocket, that you will always be good at the position. If you can do that, now all the extra stuff, you've got to give me some extra stuff to be a great quarterback, but if you can do that, you will always be good at the position. And Joe Burrow is doing that at an elite level. Uh, he's doing that, and he's got some elite players around him, which – as I know very well, that plays a huge part in being able to reach your potential if you're a pocket passer. You better have some guys around you that, you know, can accentuate what you do, and they have those guys. Um, and I've seen it from the start, too. You know, when I watched him play last year, um, you know, you talk, we talk a lot about Mac Jones and, and the way that he's played as a rookie. I saw all this stuff from Joe Burrow, and you saw the little bit extra and the leadership and, and the attitude and the toughness that he brings to the table. And so I would not be surprised one bit if we're saying, I mean, I think there's some people that are already talking about him in that category of being a top five quarterback right now. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we've seen the last couple of weeks, I mean, what over 900 yards passing and hmm. big play after big play. And uh, I really like Joe Burrow. So that statement would 100% uh, in my mind could be an accurate statement uh, a couple of years down the road. He's so good, isn't he? I mean, he really, very, very good. really is. And there's something about culture changing, too, that's not easy. I mean, you can't just snap your fingers. But having Jamar Chase sitting there outside, inside, all over the place, that guy is amazing. I mean, he, he's run away from the Ravens' defense. He's run away from the Chiefs' defense. How deep do you think the Bengals can go this year, right now, Kurt? What do you think? Well, I, first of all, you always have to ask yourself, can they beat anybody? Yes, I think they can beat anybody. I mean, they showed they can beat the Chiefs. I believe they're, you know, they've got enough talent and enough explosiveness that they could beat anybody. Where they've struggled this year is when they haven't been able to generate the big plays. Uh, they haven't quite been consistent enough, especially in the front areas, you know, offensive line, defensive line, to be able to work the football and score points and, and stay up with people in those situations. So that, to me, is going to be the question come playoff time. You know, can they live in the big play world? And if they can, because they've got all those playmakers around them, yeah, I, I think they can make a run and they can beat anybody in the playoffs. But, you know, I'm, I'm still – I'm not sitting here saying they're one of my favorites to, to go to the Super Bowl because I have seen a number of games where they've really struggled in those areas and, and haven't put it all completely together yet. So good team beat everybody um not quite sure they're a championship team at this point hey you watched all the way to the end thanks for that watch more right here